What's going on, guys? This is John Collins from the Atlanta Hawks. You listen to the Three Point Conversion Radio. Hey, Nate, I know this is probably a tough one to digest, but what were the Rockets able to do there that fourth quarter that made them so successful there? Well, they did what we knew they could do. They're going to scrap. And they're going to play hard for 48 minutes. And uh, that's what they did. I thought they outworked us uh, uh, in that fourth quarter. Um, you know, when we did force misses, they uh, was able to get second, third opportunities. You know, 44 points in a quarter is, I mean, you just, I can't explain that. Um, that's just getting that work. That's no defense. When that game is on the line, going down the fourth, we talked about our finishes. Uh, it's not just the offensive end of the floor. It's both ends of the floor. And uh, we flat just got our work in that fourth quarter. Nate, just what was your message to the team after this one? You got to finish. You know, and it's not, you know, I think, you know, a lot of times we're concerned about the offensive end of the floor. Uh, it's both ends of the floor that you have to play and you have to execute. You know, we, we've been talking about uh, finishing games here uh, lately and uh, there have been some games where offensively we haven't been able to score. Um, and then there's some games where defensively we can't get stops and you need to do both to win games, you know. So that was the message that, uh, uh, you got to finish games, and, and, and it certainly starts with uh, getting stops uh, on the defensive end of the floor. The defensive problems y'all were having in the fourth, did you see a lot of it being effort-based or schematic? I, th I think speed has, has uh, uh, been something we've had trouble with, and they put a small lineup out there, and basically uh, they were just uh, weaving, you know, uh, pl playing with four guards, looking to attack, and when they uh, shot the ball, they sent four guys to the boards, uh, and uh, they just outworked us. You know, they were they were quicker to the ball, um, and we, we didn't finish. I mean, as simple as that. You guys were up 16 with under 30 seconds to go in that third quarter. Do you feel like this game in particular was a matter of you guys just letting off the gas a little bit? You, that is not, uh, I don't know why you would do that. I don't, I don't, I, you know, I have to look at the, t I don't, I don't feel that, uh, you know, 16 points, um, you know, we, and we, we talked about finishing the game. So um, even though there were may, maybe two minutes in that, in, in that quarter that you're talking about, uh, you know, the fourth quarter, we, we talked about finishing quarters and I thought, uh, uh we had a turnover, we had a quick shot, and uh, that led to uh, them getting going down, getting I think a couple easy baskets uh, in that in that quarter. Uh, and you know, those are the things we've been talking about, though finishing quarters as well as uh, finishing the fourth. Um, coach, um, I'm not able to look at a stat sheet, but I know free throws down the stretch is one of the biggest things that kind of went into the game. How much did you put into that of you guys not being able to finish or the Houston Rockets being able to come back? Well, we were we were uh, ahead in free throws at the um, at the half. Uh, I think we had 17 to their 14, and um, you know they ended up uh, shooting 37 uh, for the game. So it, you know you got to defend without fouling. Uh, we we also talked about that. You know this is a team that they attack. Uh, a lot of movement in their offense, and uh, you know they are aggressive, uh, crashing the boards, and you know everything that we talked about, they did, uh, and uh, we did opposite. You know we didn't defend without foul in the second half, uh, and as uh, and when they did miss, they uh, dominated the boards. You also talked about the speed of the game with what Houston was able to do. Did you feel like in some respects? They, um, you guys weren't able to be physical enough, or was it something else that led into that? It was just quicker. I mean, they they were faster, uh, you know, on their attacks, uh, you know, driving to the basket. Uh, you know, one day uh, when they forced misses, uh, they got out into transition. 
And then offensively, uh, you know, I mean, so defensively, when they took the shot, uh, they were quicker to the ball. And, uh, you know, so just faster than we were uh, out there. Hey, Trey, for this one, I mean, um, Coach Mack was just talking about how in the fourth defensive efforts just wasn't really there. Is that what you saw or how did he kind of see the Rockets be able to take advantage there? Yeah, they, they, they um, the whole fourth, they were just, they were just going and like really the end of that third, they got going and DJ got going and uh, they just got, got rolling and made some shots and uh, DJ kind of took over and, and uh, Eric come made some tough shots there. Did you see it as more of, you know, them getting a hot hand and making those shots or was it kind of on, on y'all's defensive effort as I was, well? Or? I was both. I was both. We, I mean, we let them score um, too easy on, on a lot of occasions. And then also, I mean, they had some tough contested shots and, and layups in the paint. So um, it's a little bit of both. We got to be better on the defensive end and I uh, was just not, not doing it. And uh, it's got to be better um, on both sides. Hey, Trey, um, what's your mindset on just how to kind of combat some of the problems y'all are having late in games? Does it, is it mostly mental stuff or just how do you kind of look to combat that as, as a leader of this team? Um, you just try to do your part. Uh, it's not a, it's not an individual sport. Not, not one person can, uh, can do it. Uh, we, we got to do this as a team and a collective unit. Um, we just got to all do our part, do our role and, um, uh, and uh, just just be ready to make plays and um, get stops, and uh, you gotta do do it on both ends. It's not just a one sided game. Hey Trey, uh, do you feel like this team has taken the defensive side of the floor seriously enough to you know win these games and close these games out, especially you know when it is close late in the fourth quarter? Um, obviously not uh, not enough. I think uh, I think uh, we're we're uh, getting into it with the rest a little bit too much and complaining to the rest a little bit too much. And they're just uh, just attacking us in the fourth quarter and uh, really just got to be better. Uh, we scored enough We scored enough to win tonight. Uh, we didn't, didn't get enough stops. Allowing them to get 132 points to any team isn't going to be good enough. So, uh, yeah, we got we got to figure it out. Trey, what do you feel was more so the turning point in the game? I know it's a lot of things you could point to that you may regret, but what do you feel was the most turning point in this game for you guys? Um, I don't know. Uh, I mean, we were up 15 late in that third quarter. Um, and then going into that last, I think that last stretch, they hit a couple threes. And I mean, threes are, are, are dead. Uh, I mean, it's, it's backbreaking for the opposing team. When you hit threes and uh, you rack those, those up, uh, you can, you can, close the gap. And I mean, when you're playing on the road, I know you just want to keep it close. And uh, they were just doing that, keeping it close. And at the end of the game, anything can happen. So uh, for the road team, they did what they, they did what they were supposed to do. And um, I know, I think Sarah kind of asked this, but more so for you, what do you feel like um, the, you obviously have 41 points in this game. Do you feel like um, there was something you didn't do um, enough or was it more so, like you said, towards the team? Yeah, like, yeah there's a couple of plays. I mean, I'm going to go back and look at the film again. Uh, there's a couple of plays in the fourth quarter. Uh, I know one specifically, I let DJ get a bad door cut. I uh, got a layup. And then uh, one offensive rebound, I let uh, Nawaba get. Um, and then, I mean, besides that, I got to go back and see if I did anything more. But on top of my head, those are two plays that I wish I could get back. And uh, I got to be better. Um, I'm just, just figuring that out. Okay, thanks, Trey. Hey, Clint, I know this is probably a tough one to digest, but what were the Rockets able to do there in the fourth quarter that, that made them so successful? Um, I just think that they, um, they really came out um, aggressive, especially like second chances points. I felt that um, every shot that they were shooting, they were all going to the offensive glass to try to give them a second chance. And I felt that energy wise, um, they, they, they doubled us. Like their energy was twice better than ours. Why do you think that was? Uh, probably belief. 
maybe I think our energy wasn't there uh, in the fourth quarter when it's the, the toughest moment of the game because we're all tired, we're all drained. Uh, their energy was, was their energy, their, their belief was better than us tonight. I know last year you guys had to learn kind of a similar lesson of how to finish games strong. Um, how do you guys learn that again this year? Is it a similar issue as last year or, or is it different? Uh, I think there was a lot of uh, similarities with last year. Uh, uh, I think a lot of it is belief. Uh, just like I said, it was the fourth quarter. Uh, everybody tired. They, they start playing harder too. Uh, we, we didn't, some calls we didn't get because they just ramp up their defense and it's not even them tonight. It's been the past few quarters and all of our games. Uh, I just feel that every team to step up uh, their defense and and offensively we try to give themselves a second chance and, and we don't match that most of the time. By belief, do you mean, sorry, do you mean like belief that y'all can get it done or uh, like? Belief. Um, the, uh, in, in the game, the Rockets are rebounding you guys 45 to 40 from the sheet that I'm looking at. Do you feel that it was from you guys not also with the belief or, um, not being able to be physical enough? Yeah, I mean that 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 your 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 belief about the game has to be the best at the end of the game when everybody's tired, when when uh, they don't call uh, fouls like cheap fouls they don't call it uh, they go to the offensive glass harder and start pushing shoving they don't call it we have we just didn't match that so when, when once you don't match it and and they they feed off of it uh, you can like they they get really excited and everybody on their team that I, I felt that they had the belief that we haven't. I'm not trying to get you in trouble with this question either, but obviously with officiating missed calls, does that kind of throw you uh, off a little bit? No, it's, it's, not, it's not, like I said, it's it's not just tonight. It's been our past few fourth quarters that we haven't been great. So we just uh, have to rectify that, I think. Nate said a few minutes ago that he felt that the Rockets outworked you guys in the fourth quarter. Would you agree with that assessment? Uh, I mean, yeah, I think that the, the numbers don't lie. They, they scored 44 points before we scored 25. So there's the answer here. And then for, for you guys, do you feel like for 48 minutes, night in, night out, that you guys are taking the defensive side of the floor seriously enough to win these games? I think uh, night in, night out, our fourth quarter, our intensity is not high school. It's not how it's supposed to be. Every one is the fourth quarter, and everything gets harder. Where the intensity should be going up because it gets harder at the end of the game, and we just haven't haven't been doing that. So, like I said, we're gonna have to rectify that and, and see how how we can rectify this because this is an issue, I guess. From what you've seen on film, can you kind of diagnose why that is? Why you guys don't have that energy? Honestly, before? yeah, uh, it's just. Uh, the intensity got to be there. You, like I said, it's. I don't think it's it's mistakes like defensively or scheme wise. It's just energy. Do you want more than than the team in front of you? That that's all it is. I think so. It's not. Yeah, I don't think that it's it's not scheme defensive or or mistake. It's just do you want it more than you than the guy in front of you or not? It's, it's this is about, especially when it's about rebounding when when you see the whole team going to offense and try to give themselves a second chance when. Yeah, I felt that tonight. Hey, John, I know this is probably a tough one to digest, right? What What do you think uh, was the issue there for you guys in the fourth quarter? Was it something the Rockets were doing that you guys weren't? No, we got, you know, we, uh, we got a guard. We got to guard and we got we to gotta take smart shots. We got to stop turning the ball. I don't know what else to say. We uh, got to play better. We got to execute down the stretch. Not keep just dwindling the game off like how we've how we been doing. 
It's, it's, it's like it's being a dead horse. Clint said that um, a couple minutes ago that the Rockets just seemed to have more belief, especially in that fourth quarter than you guys did. Do you think it's more of a, a mental thing or is it, you know, kind of just specific defensive breakdowns that you're, y'all are having? You know, I definitely don't think it's a mental thing. Um, you know, I definitely feel like all our guys on our team, you know, are competitors and want to win. Um, but it's, it's not more about the mental, it's just more about the execution. You know, it's just like going out there and doing it. You know, we we all want it. You know, we wouldn't be here in the, you know, in the NBA. We didn't want it, you know, better than 99% of, you know, everybody else who wants our job. But we got to go out there and, and do do what we practice, do what we preach, uh, every, everything. It's, it's tough. Um, John, I know we've been talking about the, the fourth quarter. Um, I guess what – can you put your finger on the disconnect between, you know, what we've been talking about with the fourth quarter and then going out there and, and doing it? You know, uh, it's just really a matter of understanding the moment, you know, and, and valuing what, what the fourth quarter is, valuing the guys are playing harder, uh, valuing the, the moment, the presence of the moment. Uh, I feel like that's where we're, we're not there yet completely, you know, in understanding what is needed at each moment. I feel like it's making it harder for us to execute down the stretch, you know. Um, we gotta be more aware. You mean like making the right play at the right moment, basically? Hell yeah. Uh, you know, whether it be a pass, a shot, you know, whether it be getting guys back out and sitting, you know, sending or whatever the hell, like it could be anything. It could be pushing and transition. In, in, in tagging a, a, you know, three on two break, you know, it could be anything. It's just a matter of trying to slow down and understand and analyze and execute. And that's, that's been t- tough as tough as hell for us in the, in the fourth quarter going down the stretch. Uh, let's say it's beating a dead horse. John, um, Nate McMillan talked about the speed of the small lineup Houston was able to do. How much did the speed and physicality in the game play a role in this game, do you think? You know, I definitely think when you when you say physicality, I definitely think that's more so, you know, um, associated with the referees who I definitely feel like were, you know, having a difficult time trying to let certain things be physical and, and let other things not be, if I'm, if I'm saying that the nicest way I can. Um, but, you know, being a smaller team shouldn't affect us at all. We should, we should be able to, you know, talk that out. We, you know, we play small teams, you know, small lineups every night. So, um, it, is what, it is what it is tonight. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm at a loss words, really. You know, it's just uh, it's frustrating. I, I can tell that, that you are frustrated. Is this one – more frustrating than usual or is it just you know anytime you lose it it is frustrating regardless of who the opponent might be you know it's you know losing every every loss is frustrating but it's the way we're losing the same way we're losing that's frustrating me you know uh, that's it you know i i would i would rather much rather lose a different way than for us to just keep just giving it even you know, excuse me about to get myself fine just keep giving the game away um I feel like that's what we're doing, you know. We're not getting beat, you know. From what you've seen on film, has there been constant themes that you picked up on as to why this does keep happening for you guys? Yeah, um, and, and that's the difficult part of what I'm saying, you know, we're losing the same way or the same things keep happening. That's, that's the frustrating part. You know, we go watch film, we go on a practice court, and come back out here under the bright lights and, you know, we got to do better. We, we got to do better uh, from top to bottom, myself, every, everybody. We got to, we got to come figure this, figure this out now. When you get in foul trouble early in the game, does that have an impact beyond just you don't get to play as much? Does it kind of, do you feel like it kind of changes your rhythm or the rotation rhythm? Yeah, it changes my rhythm. Um, obviously I get, you know, out of rhythm or I don't get a chance to flow into the game. And then it also changes how the referees referee me. You know what I mean? Now, now I have two fouls, and they're aware of that as well. So now it just changes the way I'm being refereed, 
as well as I have to defend. Sure, you know, impacts the game. You know, I hate, hate getting early fouls. I don't want to be out there providing a boost for my team. So that's why I say, you know, I can take a look in the mirror as well and take some accountability, some responsibility. Um, but I try to, you know, let that slide as much as I can. I, I'm not the one making the call. So, you know, I try to uh, let it go. John, I know you guys have big goals this season, you know, advancing far in the, in the postseason. You guys are 13 and 14 right now. What do you feel like needs to change in order for you guys to get back on that path to reaching those goals? You know, although I, I don't think it's mindset, I said didn't think it's mindset off the court, I feel like it, it, approach, right, which is mind, still mindset. But we, we need to, we need to, as I said before, the moment, we need to understand each moment. I don't think talent, yeah. you know, playing the game, or any, any basketball factors or, or what's wrong. It's, it's a matter of analyzation yeah. and execution. And that's what needs to change. Thank you. Thank you.